will artificial intelligence take our jobs that is the topic that we are going to discuss today it's a very interesting question in the times that we live in actually in the last 5 months is when this question became interesting and it is rapidly becoming more and more interesting that the whole field of artificial intelligence is just exploding and uh, if i may say so it's a little scary uh it's a little worrying to me at least or uh, if you if you listen to uh, everyone on the internet right now the world is about to end so it, it's a, it's a good time to sort of ask this question the basic question ki pehle jobs jayenge ya duniya jayegi i mean that's that's basically what we are going to uh, discuss today and uh, to uh, have this wonderful conversation with us we have uh, a, a legit data scientist uh dr rashi gupta hi uh, hi rashi hi thank you so much for having me here so uh dr gupta works in resu.ai uh, it's a machine learning company which helps businesses take decisions using artificial intelligence uh is that a good way to say it uh, rashi yes um do you want to tell us what you do essentially like i mean just in brief your job and what your day looks like sure so let me very quickly give you as to what we do at rezo so yeah. you know started like 5 years back and uh, i started it with my co-founder manish who's also my better half and i come from a pure data science background i did too much of data for good 25 years i've been doing data 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 and i just wanted to leverage that data uh you know in a in a more comprehensive way to make it like intelligent leverage that to be making it intelligent and in today's world if you look uh every enterprise is sitting on large data but they're not leveraging that data to be able to right. do good conversation with their customers so you know to just bring it out uh imagine that uh you know we are in my current avatar we are like a 15000 warm bodies right okay uh, you know who taking the calls and doing the things for the enterprise but typically uh this work of 15000 people is being done by three people only and the ai that we have built okay so you can so if you can imagine like exactly what you are saying is is in what you are you know <laughs> this is it happened that we had so 15000 logo ka kaam being done by three people and the product sophisticated product that we have built so we are a company of 100 people 97 people are building the product and selling okay. the product in the market me building the product and three people are just monitoring the screens and saying okay this 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 stuff is rolling fine so this is how it is right? this is what we do okay yeah panic <laughs> so uh, also joining us as a young one leader of spectators today is nishad Uh, Nishad is a comedian, and he uh, essentially is a big nerd of artificial intelligence. Is uh, no. I, am I correct, Nishad? <laughs> oh man, आप इससे ज़्यादा गलत नहीं हो सकते. Nishad, have you been following the uh, the developments? बिल्कुल नहीं मतलब मुझे जितना पता है वो सब मुझे by force पता है कि मुझे कोई आके बता के चला जा रहा. और बहुत कम रिटेंशन है मेरा आई विल मिक्स अप थिंग्स एंड हाउ सो आई एम वेरी ग्लैड की एक्चुअल एक्सपर्ट है हमारे पास but i feel like you have learned a little more than me have till now <laughs> so no, like, i don't take my uh, I don't think this is the right space to show your humility. I think either you, either you boss, but that they are. I will know. Who should be put there? Okay, we'll do that. Um, you know, the interesting thing is, okay, uh, I I have been also like following the AI space for a few months now, uh, especially after you know, OpenAI unleashed its beast called ChatGPT onto the world, um, and I I've seen I've been asking people around like like I just asked Nishad and um that Rashi has been into it for 5 years so I've been asking people 
you know, have they used something like a chat GPT and have they seen what is happening with AI? So there are, I, I feel like four kinds of reactions that I get broadly. One is, there are people who have married their head into the sand. Uh, and they're like, I don't deal with this with I, I just don't get it. I, yeah, and that's what Nishat is raising his hand. He's like, I have buried my head in the sand. I don't know what is going on. Jobi osmosis se aave, that is what I'm picking up. Then uh, there is the second category, which is like people who are looking up at the sky and shaking their fist. Ki, oh my God, what happened? The world is over. So they're like massively, basically blaming the entire AI system for a lot of things that are about to come. And then there is, of course, the third category, which is which is panicking uh, about how it will affect affect their lives in real time. So as they use it more, the more they start panicking because they just seem to be getting more and more irrelevant as the days go along. And then of course, there's the fourth category, which I believe I fall into, uh, which is people who are trying to look at it as a tool and use it to just enhance themselves currently. Um, these are the four broad sort of categories that I have seen of people who are reacting to AI. Uh, Rashi, uh, do you think that is a that is what you have also seen? Yeah, I think people have a very mixed reaction. Uh, you know, some absolutely are you know fearful. What is this going to do to you? Mm. Some are wanting to take advantage and uh, you know leverage it to their benefit. Then there is a you know third set of people who think you know uh, you know this is extreme. So it all depends. I think the know-how jo abhi aapka hai, the evolution state that you are sitting today, right? Uh, and I think technology, every time technology have come into the, you know, play, I think the better it is that you ride the same wave. If you ride the wave, uh, I think there is no fear at all. I think there is always a tendency. We have a tendency that we want to hold on to where we are and we don't want to evolve ourselves. But the idea is if you go with the flow and you evolve and you just ride this whole wave of chat uh you know gpt and the generative ai i think this is this is wonderful what it is bringing on the table right i mean it is just going to be augmenting so much in a newer way that we will be doing in the future okay um i i i will actually play the other side a lot here rashi just just a warning uh i am i am a big uh, doomsday person uh, I mean, I, I have been looking at and... We got that Nishat are... from the opening. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. No, and I, you know, the thing is that it since Bachkan, I have been reading so many sci-fi novels, which, uh, you know, prepares for this scenario, I guess. Uh, and, and of course, the sci-fi novels exaggerate a lot and they, they put in a lot of, um, you know... Uh, Obviously, they are, they are imaginations of an author who is living in like the 50s and 60s, like an Asimov and people. And now we are here in 2023 where uh, we can see like signs of maybe it going that way. Like a, you know, like a Terminator scenario is what people are saying. But, uh, and, okay, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, Nishat, uh, you tell me how you feel about uh, the advancements of AI in general and also what do you understand of AI as of now? Yeah, I am... Uh, it's similar to what you just said. My understanding of AI is coming from fiction. It's coming from Rajnikanth's robots. And it's coming from So, in general, this is movies are very scary and hmm. uh, I think people in general are uh, scared about things they don't know so I don't hmm. know anything and as the portrayal is that it won't take a job because when you tell the benefits of it that it will be 20,000 people to do this work that is not a very uh, <laughs> assuring advertisement yes, you are relaxed and so but बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग भी लग रहा है मुझे जितना मतलब जो जैसे मैंने बोला मुझे जबरदस्ती पता चल रही है ये चीजें तो जितना मैंने बिट्स एंड पीसेस में देखा है वो इंटरेस्टिंग भी बहुत है तो आई एम इन द मिडिल रियली इट्स अ वेरी नाइस अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर मी टू नो मोर ओके 
Rashi, let's start uh, with the basic, right? The very basic thing. What is artificial intelligence? Uh, how would you define it? So, to just uh, very simplify it, I think uh, the construct is key. See, जैसे हम uh, humanly जो intelligence है हमारा किसी चीज को सुनने के बाद the way we comprehend it, right? Uh, आपने कोई भी notion बोला मैंने उसका sentiment समझा positive है एक अलग reply आया negative है एक अलग reply आया so imagine करो ये context, right? ये पूरा का पूरा intelligence the word decision power that we have today as humans in some form and shape, right? is getting embedded into the machines and I'm not saying okay. it is going to be Depending upon the scenario, right? Just as I take an example, Lelu, for example, you take Netflix. Ka le mein, okay? mm. Now, Netflix, what is happening? Netflix this time, if you have seen a movie dekhi, and it was, you know, some donor sort of a movie, now, just leak your movie, you have seen a movie, and you have seen a database, you have seen a movie, and 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 what are the other ones that you can you can view in the same format the the liking that you had today uh, you know it will show you all of that like very similar sort of recommendation comes on the table so aapko itna effort nahi lagana padta you are actually using ai in a daily basis right aap mm-hmm. uh, blinkit use kar lo aap amazon use kar lo agar aapne ek book kharida you see the recommendation you buy a shirt you see the recommendation blue shirt kharida to sara blue 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 will come in the first front so technically speaking in your e-commerce any shopping that you are doing uh, you know any buying behavior uh, even kapde ka size and all of that right it is actually in play and it is you are enjoying it to be honest right all mm-hmm. of this you are enjoying mm-hmm. because it's making your life much more simpler and this is these are the things aap bolte ho yaar fir if we every time i'm buying a product agar mujhe size wala prediction bhi ho jaye aur wahi fir mereko mil jaye at least i will not do the returns and you know all of that so technically one side we are enjoying this whole buying behavior powered by ai but then on the other side we are scared of losing the jobs right so we yeah. the idea is ye to ease kar raha hai na the idea is mm. it is also pushing us to see a new dimension and when you mm. start seeing the new dimension you are actually using all of that and you are enjoying all of that so wow. there should be no fear i understand that there is a job security sort of a thing which is in play but uh, i mean we we can talk more about that yeah 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 so essentially you are saying the jo abhi algorithms hai like instagram pe or whatever they are all sort of in your uh, definition ai powered right absolutely absolutely so you are seeing ai in action today okay but then i would actually argue Mm, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, and I think Nishad, you can also uh, like add to this. Like for example, Nishad, you have put up YouTube clips, right? Yeah. Um, so, so essentially, like you must have got all this gyan how to you know make sure the algorithm promotes your shit. You know, like even on Instagram, people keep giving tips about oh how to you know like how to what is the format of the reel that you have to put out to make it go viral and also. Uh, all of those things so there's like a formula in play where we assume that we know what the algorithm will promote right but essentially from the other side flip side what we are also doing is that we are also working to keep more people on that platform that we are posting the content on with the help of this algorithm right rashi so uh, if you look at uh, algorithm with the ai and algorithms i'm i'm i should i use it uh like together or should i just call it algorithm and ai separately or is it just ai see it's a very uh you know you can see there are the algorithms at the back end right all of yeah. the algorithms at the back end you can you, right, you right. can say yes so it doesn't matter yes. okay so i can use it interchangeably so so ai essentially is let's say putting out all these all this content and they are making users stay on the phone which which is which is a sign of addictive behavior so it also is a question of how this ai is being used right hmm. so uh, like for example rashi you said that it's making our life simpler i would also say in a way it might be making our life a little worse as well in some other aspects see that is true like i mean today i think the mobile addictivity is so high that you know hmm. we are we are in a in a in a room with people 
but if you try you know and this could this is valid for personal and professional both of them and you're trying to interact with people but he's more worried in clearing his mails <laughs> you know he's more worried yeah. looking at instagram all looking more worried about you know what is there posted on the facebook or making a picture of you know what he's eating and pushing it there rather than actually the guy sitting your family sitting right across and you don't want to spend time so but mm. i mean i think we have got it to that level i think yeah we really now can't go back in my mind unless and until you decide ki this is what i want to do in a restrictive manner i think you are already mm. progressing in that direction and it is going to be a very personal choice ki yaar i don't want to use a mobile or i don't want to get down looking at netflix and you know i would only like to read books and i don't want to watch documentary these are very personal choices it's all there how and the more you decide what in the direction that you want to head towards uh, you can choose make those calls but it's way too late now to say you know i would like not because it, it is going in a direction right mm. it got into that very difficult for an individual to break free and say ki i would like to reverse it right uh, so the word artificial intelligence it has the word intelligence in it so uh, maybe we can spend some time actually defining what is intelligence as well or talking about it uh, nishad do you want to uh, yeah, take a stab at it also don't worry you can be wrong we have an expert to correct us both of us are noobs so it's fine no me ab mujhe lag raha mazak kyun la raha ho jaise aapne intelligence bola aur phir mujhe bola bol i thought i am taking this personally meghnath but uh, okay fine sorry sir sorry <laughs> बट नो दिस वॉज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टू बिकॉज जब भी हम लोग आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस की बात करते हैं हमारे दिमाग में ऑटोमेशन और ड्राइवरलेस कार्स मतलब बहुत ही लार्ज स्केल चीजें ही दिमाग में आती मिस द फैक्ट दैट एवरी थिंग मतलब जो अलगोरिदम हम लोग के इसमें चल रहा है कि जो फ्लिपकार्ट हो गया कोई भी ई कॉमर्स साइट हो गया या ई मेम सोशल मीडिया को सब भी एक्चुअली ए आई ही गवर्न भी कर रहा है मेरा ये सवाल ये हुआ कि आपको जैसे आ, हर साइंटिस्ट जब भी कुछ ऐसा पिक्चर को देखते हैं कुछ इजाद करते हैं और ही इज वेरी एक्साइटेड अबाउट इट एंड देन व्हेन इट गोज रॉन्ग ही हिमसेल्फ इज ये बल ये गलत बता दी तो मैं बस अभी से आपसे पूछ रहा हूँ कि व्हाट आर द व्हाट डू यू थिंक लाइक इज द कि यहाँ ये नहीं होना चाहिए आगे जाए मतलब Hmm. Not, what is it that you're worried about? Is what about, Rashi from, is asking. Yeah, from sitting yeah, so, at this time to yeah. So I'll tell you. Uh, when we started Brazo, right, and we talked about automation. So when I told you that I'm doing 15,000 people's work, I'm doing my own. That's the degree of automation that I'm sitting today, onboarding more enterprises, so more evolution will happen. But if you look at it, and I was very worried, yeah, what kind of a karma will I generate? I'm basically eating away people's jobs, right? Yeah. I was just yeah. very worried about it, and then I spoke with a couple of entrepreneurs. Yeah, uh, you know, this is good. I may be able to make money with this, but you know what mm-hmm. I'm doing? This uh, is this you know correct? Should I do that or not? And this guy said that, "Look, this boat, this jo ride, hai, ye jo wave, hai, ye to jaye hai." Jaye. Hmm. you can write on it or you can stay back but this is going to go on if you don't do it today somebody else will do it right it's going to happen you can't okay. just stay, you can't just keep denying it ki nahi hoga so it is hmm. it is a technology which is going to be taking people to be so it's a technology jo hum kar rahe hain is time if i hmm. if i go hmm. back agar main isko in a full throttle in a in a perspective se dekhu in a in a good perspective se dekhu actually i am going to be pushing megra and i'm going to be pushing dishad to be able to do their jobs better aap kuch kar rahe ho ki okay. have a competition you will be forced to evolve you will be forced to perform you know the contact centers today right if you look hmm. into their churn uh, you know the attrition rate that is something around 45 48% अगर आप सोचो फोर्टी फाइव फोर्टी एट परसेंट है वो बिल्कुल माइंडलेस काम दे रखा है यू नो फोरोटिक वर्क and they are doing this is the this is the call centers you are talking about right like the so, company I'm call centers talking about the yeah call centers के अंदर we are doing a lot of automation for the call center industry we are trying mm-hmm. to basically up the call center industry okay mm-hmm. 
ठीक है सो आई एम जस्ट कमिंग फ्रॉम दैट परस्पेक्टिव अगर इफ यू लुक इन टू द पीपल देयर राइट दे आर एक्सट्रीमली अनहैप्पी देयर एट्रिशन रेट इज वेरी वेरी हाई एंड विद दैट एट्रिशन रेट अब वो क्यों खुश नहीं है बिकॉज एम्प्लॉयर ने उनको जो काम दिया है करने का इट्स अडी वेरी रेपोटेटिव सॉर्ट ऑफ अ वर्क दैट हैज बिन गिवन टू देम डे एंड डे आउट वही रेपोटेटिव काम मुझे करना है एंड देर इज नो इनोवेशन देर इज न्यू न्यूनेस तो वो भी एक आते हैं मशीन की जैसे आते हैं बैठते हैं आप भी एक जॉब करके चले जाते हैं ना इम्पैक्ट इज वर्ड एंटरप्राइज इज लूजिंग अ बॉम्ब टू बी एबल टू इनेबल दीज कॉल सेंटर्स टू बी इनेबल द कस्टमर एक्सपीरियंस ऑन दी अदर हैंड जब ये बंदा आ, उस एंटरप्राइज के कस्टमर से बात कर रहा है इमेजन योर हिताची इमेजन वोल्टास आपका ए सी चल रहा है नहीं चल रहा है राइट द काइंड ऑफ कंप्लेन दैट यू पुट फॉरवर्ड एनी थिंग इन एवरी थिंग द कस्टमर एक्सपीरियंस गोज फॉर अ टॉस बिकॉज यू आर टॉकिंग टू पीपल हु आर नॉट इंजॉइंग देर जॉब्स राइट एंड यू आर फोर्स टू टॉक टू देम टू समबडी हु इज अ लो पेइंग हु इज यू नो ड्रॉइंग अ लो सैलरी यू ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड देयर साइकी व्हाट आर दे फॉर टू डू दे अंडरस्टैंड नाउ इफ यू लुक इनटू दैट सिनेरियो एंड यू बेक इन एआई एंड दिस गिविंग यू वन एग्जांपल राइट इन एआई एंड यू से कि यार जो तो बहुत ही रेपिटेटिव काम है वो चलो मशीन कर लेता है वो एआई कर लेता है ठीक है एंड जहां पे इंटेलिजेंस की जरूरत है राइट वो वाला सारा काम आप करो तो आपने इन अ वे हैव आल्सो यू नो डीक्लटर्ड देयर प्लेट समथिंग व्हिच वाज वेरी रेपिटेटिव आपने उठा के उसको बोला एआई आप इसको कर लो और जो इंटरेस्टिंग काम था जहां क्रिएटिविटी चाहिए थी जहां माइंडफुलनेस चाहिए थी वेयर ही वुड बी हैप्पी टू डू इट राइट वो काम जब आपने ह्यूमन एजेंट को बोला करने को ह्यूमंस को बोला करने को दिस इज यार दिस इज व्हाट आई वांट टू डू सेम कॉस्ट राइट काम एक्सप्रेशन रेट ऑटोमेटिकली विल कम डाउन राइट दे आर नॉट फीलिंग दैट बर्डन सो दिस इज हाउ इफ यू लुक फ्रॉम द पर्सपेक्टिव एंड दिस इज जस्ट अ यू नो इट्स जस्ट अ a view how you view it if i go to a call center and i talk about it and i talk about the positive the positives are much higher there is so much sure. you are just not so so the the ai can take up lot of that work and something which is creative something which needs that mindfulness something that mm. needs that touch should be done by the ai but i can i i'll push up push back on you a little bit here rashi because uh, what nishad said essentially right which is uh, like i think what are the things that we should be fearful i can see in this in many example right you said that um let's say 45% of the people are unhappy and there's attrition and they're leaving and doing other things let's put it that way right? mm-hmm. but there is still this 55% people there who are dependent on that call center to essentially earn a living now if you are someone who is introducing ai to this entire system a company who wants profits would ideally want like 100% of these people to be replaced by an ai so isn't that a bad thing and would that wouldn't that result in like a a, a bad scenario there so meena i'll just correct you here when i yeah. 45% attrition hai wo wo kaam naya kaam dhoond raha hai ठीक है फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट एट्रेशन जो अभी sure, company, sure. वो बिल्कुल सिमिलर कंपनीज में जा रहा है बट लिटिल इवॉल्व काम ढूंढते हुए करेक्ट आई मीन सिमिलर काम ही ढूंढ रहा है बट लिटिल मोर सैलरी लिटिल बिट मोर वर्क लेस प्रेशर बट सिमिलर लीक का काम मतलब दे ऑल्सो मूव टू दस्ट लेवल वेरी इजिली सो इस के वो फॉर अ वेरी स्मॉल वन इज मूविंग फ्रॉम वन कंपनी टू दी अदर समेर द प्रेशर आर लेसर दे आर मूविंग फ्रॉम वन टू दी अदर सो दैट इज वेयर हाउ आई एम डिफाइनिंग एट्रेशन नॉट दैट these guys are leaving what they are doing they are just moving to another organization to be able to do a little bit more productive work as far as that they are not being job profile so technology like ai is trying to ease that is trying to bring in that coolness mm-hmm. that trying to bring in that refreshness so that jo redundant kaam hai you know where it is just reminder you know and a couple of and there is a lot of that wo aap mm-hmm. ai ko and where you need that creativity where you need that human touch imagine somebody has lost somebody in the family and aap insurance company ke paas jao asking for that claim imagine you are talking to a bot i mean you don't need that at that point of time and there are mm-hmm. hundreds of scenarios right where you need people you need intelligent people to be able to solve it you don't want to get stuck in you know uh, uh, ai bot doing certain things right so mm-hmm. where that human touch is required you should bring in because and then there is so much that you have not been able to touch the enterprise that have not been able to dwell they would like to do interact with their customer base on a lot of those thoughts which they are not able to do it could be nurturing session it could be educational session so that 
uh, for example, uh, Jan GPT is doing in a fantastic way. I was just, you know, listening to a podcast. I think mm. the group take over the whole education space in a big way. And, you know, the way they bring up this generative AI is bringing up things. It's absolutely fantastic. So it's about his perspective where you are keeping it. It's a beautiful perspective. I understood. You know, the idea is if the resistance is not there, yes. it's going to be evolving the growth of, uh, you know, the economy. I mean, there's going to be a big growth. Yeah. I understand. Like, for example, there's this... Uh, Nishad, uh, go on. No, so this was very, uh, like, it was a lot of questions I get in my mind. Because I'm a stand-up comedian or writer. So, my work is mostly in the creative space. And you are saying that you are not in the creative space. But, uh, <laughs> the, I know, I am from Calcutta. It's just funny to me that I am defending working. I would love that. I would love that. I would love that. I But while children push out, how strong is or what do you expect uh, things like Chat GPT and other AI to uh, progress more in the creative direction? Because there are sites where you can put some keywords and you can put a movie in plot. That's a. Netflix ने I think कुछ किया है जहाँ पे वो पूरा AI से stand up लिखवाता है and it is supposed to be bad comedy but I think अब we start यहाँ से किया तो eventually कौन सी जाएगा फिर तो yeah sorry I I just wanted to add to this uh, before Rashi answers so I have been actually trying to use Chat GPT to do a lot of things now so I am like in a semi creative field I my title is creative director uh, just just putting it out there. So like, I mean, I'm in this field where I'm helping IBM design shows, um, you know, like I'm, of course, hosting these podcasts and, you know, doing a lot of other things on the site. So I've been trying to figure out ki, in my work, what all can I, how all can I use AI to actually enhance myself? Like Rashi said, you know, like um, it, it's a tool that you can use to just get rid of repetitive tasks. So I've been trying to identify those repetitive tasks, right? Um, and I find now that, uh, like for example, today, uh, I had decided that before the recording of this podcast, I will start preparing a, an hour and a half before and I will only use ChatGPT to do it. And that is what I did, right? So basically, I tried to use ChatGPT to essentially feed things like, uh, like my first prompt was, Oh, so I'm hosting a podcast called Explain Like I'm 10, where I have Rashi Gupta, who is the guest who is a data scientist who works with uh, Rezo AI, which is a machine learning uh, startup. And we have uh, another person who is unaware about what is happening here. And uh, please, can you uh, give, write me an intro, right? And it, it did. It wrote me an intro and it, it actually gave me a list of questions to ask as well, right? So it was like, oh, you can start with what is AI first, define artificial intelligence. Then it was like, oh, you should also define what is intelligence. Then it was like, uh, you know, how, how will AI it, um, affect different industries and sectors? You can also ask your guests to share some insights from their own experience working with AI and their startup and what challenges and opportunities they face. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So, like, right from the beginning of this podcast, I've just been following what uh, Chat GPT has been telling me, right? And it literally took me like half an hour to get all of this information sorted and put it in the way that I want to use it today, right? And I feel like that's great. I, I feel like uh, it did save me a lot of work. So, basic hai ye. I agree. The thoda sa basic hai abhi, but it is helping me. Nishan, uh, what is it? This is a creative use or is this not? I think it is creative. Matlab, uh, yeah. If matlab, not in it's not that I think Thora to Rashi because I said Bilkul Nay Naraki Java Pochra these are questions as an energy kissy to artificial intelligence. Ne, uh, ha. Mujhe to ki, make that which is an old intelligence. Has thought uh, yeah, I, exactly right, and, and you were you were not. It was a trick all along. What are the creative uses for AI that you can think of? Yeah, so if you look through this uh, 
what you got as a response right uh, that whole script in a way you got it yeah. on the one right you did not yeah. otherwise i think aapka at least if you are at this thing and you're doing it on a very you know on a daily repetitive sort of a manner still aapko ai uh, you know kuch to aapko kuch ghante to aapko nikalne padte to do this one version now imagine yes. the ease with which uh, you know you've got that first version and i am dead sure going forward you will for every before every podcast you will either say yeah let put initial levels to de de right yeah so somebody who was working for you to be able to get you this first list right you feel this is there and i'm sure you will be adaptive to it right you will not mm-hmm. go back and say yaar jo banda kar raha tha mera kaam wo jo first level is good but then you will push down this guy to say yaar iske andar you also found there were few gaps that could have you know mm-hmm. could have been covered right so wo jo additional gaps hai then you will either pass on those gaps to this you know to your you know whoever is helping you carve these whole script or you will yourself try to do it so True. level 1 is what the system is giving you it is saving you humongous amount of time but then that whole extra topping right on on the, mm-hmm. the cherry on the top right that additional thing what first level has been carved out and which is beautiful which is pretty but then the idea is now this itself is a competition to you right how do you get a script to the next level for you know to say kya ye to sab isi ne kar diya to mera kya hai right so yeah. that there it is in a way it is giving a very soft sort of a thrust for us uh, to get us out of our comfort zone to add what and we should leverage it because the point is version one to again some days it could be possible that i just don't time and i will just go with the flow right i don't even need to add yeah. anything other yeah. time i can actually yeah risk me or creative bana lu and that is where it is already doing something for you you know uh, it, that's know. actually an interesting perspective rashi so i i i like this line of argument a lot where uh, it, essentially what you're saying is that maybe pehle i would work with a never one basic version because that is the time that i got but now that because i'm getting it so fast I'm trying to add to it and make it like level two, level three by default because I'm like, अरे इसने तो सब कुछ कर ही दिया और मेरा क्या continuation है इधर so I'm just by default increase increasing the quality of this. Nishan, uh, you should try uh, and use uh, ChatGPT to write jokes. Never oh, try. Did anyone try? So some of my friends have, but I am just scared कि वो मेरे से better लिख देगा. <laughs> See that's the thing. But uh, what 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 were your friends experiences? Oh, my friends are just lazy. They get to work and they just put it through Chat GPT or वो पूरा वही करके दे रहा है. वो वो yeah, which is good, right? It's 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 a it's a oh, it's great for them. Available which can help you. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I, I you know it's it's also um yeah, so you and Rashi complete your thought. No, so I was just saying it's good for the people who want to just leverage it and don't want to bring in newer, you know, creativity from their side. It's, it's it is following their purpose also. And somebody who wants to get to the next level of evolution and say, "Yeah, me, I got this the competition. Did ya? Ab me kya karu?" So yeah. for them also, this is rocket science, right? Because it is it is giving you that trust, right? Every day a competition sitting, you know, on your table. Ab aao ki the sahi. Now that you've got into the whole game of talking to to me, you will talk, right? And then the more you talk. This system, imagine this is built on databases, right? So if you have two things, there will be a joke. There will be a repository and repository. So you will always be at the back seat, right? You know, right. it will that newness. I don't know how much newness will be there, right? But mm. uh, but broadly, all of this is coming from the repositories at the back end, right? Because just now, hey, data it is just comprehensively using that to bring out newer things. So that creativity and the stays, right? It stays in that. But it helps you do that first level of carving out. You know, there's this interesting uh, uh, thought experiment by this uh, philosopher called Martin Heidegger, who essentially was was wondering whether technology is uh, uh, you know losing its essence. But but I mean, it's technology making humanity lose its essence in general, right? Because what you just described, what Mishad just described, and what we are talking about, that if this AI is doing all this. तो फिर ह्यूमंस का उसमें क्या कंट्रीब्यूशन रहेगा राइट यू नो लाइक एज यू से देर विल बी पीपल जस्ट लाइक अरे नाउ तो आई डोंट नीड टू वर्क आई विल जस्ट आई एम लेजी आई विल जस्ट पुट इट इन एंड आई विल जस्ट गिव इट टू माय क्लाइंट राइट देर वाज दिस अनाउंसमेंट क्रेजी अनाउंसमेंट निशाद लाइक टू वीक्स अगो इफ आई एम नॉट रॉन्ग 
uh, Microsoft and Google both announced this new feature where they are integrating their AI into all their office apps like Word, Excel, um, whatever, Meet, Joby, Amara, right? And it's nuts because uh, the the examples that they showed was was like oh so uh, there is this long email chain just summarize it for me so it just gave like two points of summarizing a long email chain and like oh okay like write me a response for this right and then it's writing a response and like oh send it so sent it that happened in like seconds right and then the other person who gets that email is also doing the same thing right which is like oh summarize this email for me and it's like oh. so it's like. We are just now generating text for no reason when the AI is just going to go through it and just give us like a you know like a short version of it. Uh, it's it's just so that's what I was coming to, which is are we losing our humanity in the process? I think it's yes, too late to ask that question, Megna. Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah, I'm the but I'm. But that's not when I put the word "push la chit." Yeah, I'm so sorry. Before drafting these algorithms, I think it's the uh, the creativity of the humans is there, right? To who have drafted this technology. Yeah, so it is doing exactly what uh, the scientists have. You know, the kind of algorithms have been drafted. So mm-hmm. we are the one who are creating it, right? So uh, it will only be uh, you know the what algorithm you see in is what you get as an output. So there is a mm-hmm. human at the back end which is bringing that creativity. Those guys are much ahead of us, and I think that's the reason now we are thankful because uh, you know, and, and to what Vishal was saying, ki, uh now this is done in the first level, right? So a lot of people will just accept it and will just you know flow. Uh, the flow will go on. Kya mere ko to kam karo aur mil raha. But imagine mm-hmm. the enterprises are also very smart. Unko bhi pata lagi jayega when you do the selling. Of course. Seen this coming. So this game is not going to be running for very long, right? So it, you will anyways be. Has to you know to either adapt this technology or figure out some other domain where you want to work. So one yeah. parallel I think I find is the chess world who got uh, exposed to I think AI before. Yeah. बहुत ही concrete level पे और वहाँ पे भी वो सभी बातें चल रही थीं कि यार ये chess का मजा खराब कर देगा और हो जाएगा. But I think eventually they all just like rolled with it and. It is now a, a constant thing. They all use uh, computers. It's a standard now. Yes. Yeah, it has become it's a standard, not... right? Yes, and it is helping people just getting trained in a more progressive way, right? Ah, no. More or less, you don't have to spend money on playing games, and you just do it on the on the machine. I mean, yeah. it's a it's a very good way to get you to practice every single day. Right. And not just chess, right? You know, like esports. Me, like I play Dota. Us pe bhi AI dal diya Starcraft. a uh, go which is one of the most complicated games ever invented that also like deep mind was able to use ai on it uh okay i have to take a break here a short break and then we will be back and after that i'm going to take this conversation a little level up because not only did i ask the ai to you know uh, kya question puchu i asked it to simulate this entire conversation uh, where three people are there and just write me a simulation of what is about to happen and we will see what happened after this break <laughs> and then we will see if this entire podcast is redundant or not so it has was the two question are existence only tumse beta nahi kar le sab ko existential crisis dega tera bhai jal back after this break <laughs> hey everyone it's been another great week on the ivm podcast network Listeners presenting to you Club Vartalap the premier tier offering for our podcast. Here you get a number of perks like access to extra bits and clips from the episodes completely unfiltered uncut and raw. The chance of watching or listening to the full episodes 2 days before the official release and absolutely free of cost entry to the Vartalap Just Us live shows. That's right, stories in person. Occasional live streams of the episode taping on YouTube an exclusive members only telegram group with akash and navin and you also get your name on the producer slates at the very end credits of all the video episodes so go to youtube.com/addrateevartalab and click on the join button to become a member now on sarah says sarah is joined by actress mithila palkar they talk about her on the words in mainstream acting theater and regional cinema and we also get to hear her sing some beautiful songs for us On Think Fast, Varun and Sujitha are joined by Pranav Mani of Brain and Co. They talk about culture from a Gen Z perspective and what appeals to this generation. 
and on Vartalab, Naveen and Akash are joined by poet and writer Preeti Vangani. The trio talks about the different scams that are happening over the world and the problems with the society. Once again, do not forget to visit our merch store on ivmpodcast.com. We've got some super cool and exciting stuff over there for you and your loved ones. Follow us on social media. We are at IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn. If you like our shows, then do not forget to spread the word. You know, it really helps us a lot. And of course, don't forget to rate and review our shows on whatever platform you are listening to them. All our video shows are also available on youtube.com slash IVM Podcasts. And finally, we'd like to thank our sponsors this week, Cash Repayments and HDFC Mutual Fund. Thank you so much for making this possible. Hello and welcome back to Explain Like I'm 10 where we are having an existential crisis where the question we are asking today is will artificial intelligence take our jobs? Uh, Rashi is very positive about this whole thing. Uh, Dishat isn't. Uh, I'm, I'm now in the middle ground. Uh, so we are still changing our opinions about it as we go along. But uh, if you are listening, I am more in the middle you are only talking about Okay, if you are listening to this uh, on the audio feed, please do check out our All About Now YouTube channel and please like it there. Uh, we have a bunch of other shows there like How to Citizen where we read the 7th grade civics book with uh, celebrities like Richa Chadda and Omar Abdullah. Uh, we have uh, another show called Page 10, where if you don't follow the news at all, where you have buried your head in the sand like Nishant has about AI, then on Page 10, we basically give you the gist of what are the main stories that happened in the last week. And uh, basically, Abbas Moomin hosts it, who is a comedian. So you know the quality of discussion there. It's good. <laughs> That's what I was going to It's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, please do check it out. Uh, but back to explain like I'm 10. Um, guys, I wanted to uh, go a little deeper into, um, you know, what sort of jobs will be replaced by the AI. Before we come to the fun simulation part, I just want to address this question, right? So, Rashi, one of the things, one of the examples you gave was, let's say, a call center, which has repetitive works. Can you Can you think of, or can you tell us more examples of, I won't say who should be worried, let's not put it that way. I would say who are the people who need to also watch out for how AI is going to replace it and also enhance it so that they don't get replaced. Let's put it that way. So I think it's going to be, uh, I think how AI is evolving, I think no space will be left, uh, you know, every space will get that kind of a jitter. Okay. Okay. Bola, aapka anyone will get replaced, right? Uh, how yeah. everybody was giving you this. So, so you you yourself said that, right? I mean, right. I told about the contact center space, where there is repetitiveness. Hai. Hmm. Large enterprises, uh, you know, when people are doing, especially in the scripting world, right? If this is hmm. giving you beautiful scripts, then obviously there is a replacement there. And I think it's, it's across the board. Uh, it's just things which are very hand, uh, you know, of, uh, you know, to say, it could be just more like hand sort of hand driven sort of work like you know manual labor basically manual labor yeah so wo, baki par, it is coming like you know in full thrust and under right. and until there is an adaption uh, it's it, it is going to give you a good competition right uh, how about uh, let's say Nisha the uh, screenwriters script writers but yeah. uh, I think he already hoi raha if I'm not wrong. But uh, hmm. nahi, I I think think as a base al pehle wale bhi koi uh, article maine dekha tha ki matlab abhi padha hai jo base al pehle tha jo wo uh-huh. that was very excited about uh, ki ek AI generate karega plot uh, plot points or aise. Uh, uh. Ha and also like I think uh, like uh, companies like BuzzFeed etc are also trying to replace a lot of their listicle making system with uh, AIs. I mean, that's a no-brainer. I mean, BuzzFeed does it, whatever. But, uh, like, I mean, other than that, I feel like, uh, but, you know, Nishad, I was thinking, uh, if, let's say, if, for example, after this conversation, you have, like, a set, maybe tomorrow, day after, whatever. And now, like, the lead news is going to be like, chat GPT, what's going on, and you try to write jokes, right? 
Uh, if it's better than you, uh, what will you do? This guy just wants me to. <laughs> I don't think I feel this bad when when I talk to my parents. Okay. Ah, come on. कैसा लगेगा तुमको अगर तुमसे अच्छा कोई रोबोट लिख दिया तो संक्षिप्त में बताऊ मेरे ना तो खराब लगेगा खराब लगेगा यस बट विल यूर नो आई वॉन्ट टू नो यूर रिएक्शन आफ्टर दैट राइट सो ठीक है वो भी आई है मेरे दिमाग में वो नहीं आया था कि मैं मतलब कोई कंप्यूटर मेरे को अगर कुछ दे रहा है तो मैं इम्प्रूव करने का सोचूंगा क्योंकि मेरे दिमाग में ऑलरेडी द ए आई इज मच बेटर मेरे दिमाग में ये तो बिल्कुल ही नहीं आया था शायद मैं बस हर कटा से वो पता नहीं बट राइट दिस इज एक्चुअली अब तुम इतना बोल रहे हो तो मुझे एक्चुअली ट्राई करने का बहुत ज्यादा मन कर रहा है द रियलिटी या राशि सो यू एम्प्लॉय अ लॉर्ड ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर्स एंड कोडर्स राइट आर दे आल्सो यूजिंग एआई टू एसेंशियली नाउ डू लाइक बेसिक कोड बिकॉज दैट इज वन ऑफ द बिग थिंग्स दैट uh that people found out right like chat gpt can write codes for people who don't even know coding language now like i also tried to create uh, a few things uh, i tried to create a, a ping pong like you, you know what the uh, the what was it called pong that there was this old game called pong right so i tried to uh, make it create basically the pong game for me uh it did write a basic code i put it in html it didn't work i don't know why but i mean i i don't have any code coding language so i was like maybe i just don't know how to learn it but uh, dashi have you found this in your own company happening in your own company so we are a very adaptive company so hamare ko to you know agar agar the idea is ki system driven chal raha hai kisi ko kuch kaam na karna pade to we are more than happy we just want people to be there but even if they are not working we are okay because the point is we want people to think out of the box थोड़े हमने तो बहुत ही बोल्डली ऊपर रखा हुआ है इफ यू डू नॉट ऑटोमेट व्हाट यू हैव बीन डूइंग इन द पास्ट टू टू थ्री वीक्स लाइक यू विल गेट ऑटोमेटेड सो दिस इज द मंत्रा दैट वी फॉलो यू आइदर ऑटोमेट और यू गेट इन द लास्ट टू थ्री वीक्स यस इन द लास्ट सो नाउ एवरी एवरी पर्सन इज फोर्स टू यू नो डॉक्यूमेंट एंड ऑफ द मंथ क्या काम कर रहा है एंड जैसे ही वो डॉक्यूमेंट करता है मेरे को रिपीटेटिवनेस वहां दिख जाता है जैसी रिपीटिटिवनेस दिखता है उसको ऑटोमेट करो स्क्रिप्ट लेको ऑटोमेट करो यू आर नॉट अलाउड टू डू व्हाट यू हैव बीन डूइंग इन अ मंथ मतलब यू बी पुश पीपल अगला महीना अगला काम करो यार ये हो गया चलो अगला सो दैट्स द काइंड ऑफ ट्रस्ट दैट वी हैव ओके दिस इज ओके दिस इज रियली अ इंटरेस्टिंग एंड अ लिटिल बिट स्केरी आई टेल यू व्हाई राशि अ सो आई देयर आर पीपल हैव बीन टॉकिंग अ लॉट अबाउट दिस अबाउट हाउ AI has been growing exponentially, which is essentially uh, there is like this new petition that has gone out with from Elon Musk and Steve Wozniak and uh, Yuval Noah Harari, saying that you need to pause development of big uh, multi-model AI like uh, ChatGPT, right, or or GPT four specifically. You need to pause it for six months because we need to figure out first. what are the safety risks and what are how we can guard ourselves from any sort of future risks here right but the point like a financial times make article hai usme what they said is that the rate of growth for ai has been so exponential in the last 2 3 months only that we are way behind on the safety like in general right okay. so uh, how would you a react to that rashi and uh, do you think this there is some truth and you want it to be paused also ek se when you i just have when you say safety what do you the right okay. for us so, okay so like uh, imagine the scenario where uh, this is where the ai is able to take its own decisions 
and right now what is happening is that we are prompting the ai to do certain things right like hum ek task de dete and the ai generate something and then we maybe enhance it don't enhance it or we feed it back and then make it you know like better right now what is what people are also thinking about is what if the ai is actually able to do the step one also where it's a, where it has it becomes uh, sentient quote unquote uh, again i'm not uh, saying it's sentient but it's basically now behaving like an independent entity and it is uh, assigning its own goals and it is with us like sci-fi scenarios right where ai at this one point will be like are i am too intelligent for these ant type human people why with so slow these people are what is this nonsense they do repetitive tasks and all look rashi rashi bach jayegi hum nahi but <laughs> the whole point is that they will be like to the ai ka objective kya hoga once it's actually able to have objectives is what scientists are trying to figure out now ki when it becomes sentient which it be- when it becomes artificial general intelligence then what will we do so one day also scared about is that the growth is so exponential that we will see it happen tomorrow and that is actually the scenario right now so that's uh, does that make sense mishal yeah but mujhe mujhe la koi matlab aaram se ho थोड़ा हल्का सेफ्टी इशू होगा ये सीधा रोबोट प्लॉट ही है आइडिया इज की जितना अडेप्टिव जितना फास्ट ही चल रहा है वी आर जस्ट ब्रिंगिंग इन टेक्नोलॉजी यूटिलाईजेशन इवेंचुअली राइट पीपल ऑल्सो नीड टू बी एबल टू अडेप्टेड एंड स्केल दम अप इफ नहीं होगा देन डिस्ट्रप्शन लाइक दिस इज गोड एपन it will happen right at least for a for a for a intermediate time people will start mm-hmm. losing jobs the system will take up everything it could be creativity it could be contact center it could be you name it and it will you know so you really need to see the connotation when you're building technology kya iska play kya hai risk kya hai safety kya hai to people mm-hmm. to human human kind kya hai i mean you have to look into those connotation because scientists are bana rahe hain but the idea is mm-hmm. just when you are in love with what you're making i love what i have made but have i looked into the connotations right have i looked into right. the perspective and i think this tool and technology that they have brought on the table this is this ha- is very powerful and now you are giving those codes in the hand of people who would like to do what they want and you can guard the intentions so you really right. have to see tr ye matlab log usko leke jayenge wow so mm. technically you will have to guard into all one sorts of use cases that people will built on it uh and, and and it's absolutely correct i think we will we should look into all we should spend some time to look into all use cases kitna next level ban sakta hai before we yeah. do the more adapt pending it for the next level this is these are my thoughts right i mean i absolutely absolutely, absolutely when you say yeah. uh, guard rushing what uh, are you intent matlab suggesting that the government should uh, like put in regulate or is this something like personal control ki baat kar raha इट कुड बी एनी थिंग राइट इट कुड बी जैसे ना कि इतना जैसे आप ये रिकॉर्डिंग कर रहे हैं राइट देर इज सो मच ऑफ डेटा गेटिंग जनरेटेड ना अगर मैं आपका पर्सनल कॉन्वर्सेशन डेटा को टैप करके कुछ बनाना चाहूँ आई इट ऑल डिपेंड मेरा इंटेंट क्या है क्या बनाना चाहती हूँ इट कुड बी फॉर अ पॉजिटिविटी फॉर द मैन काइंड और इट कुड बी फॉर यू नो फॉर समथिंग एल्स बट आपका जितना जनरेटा डेटा जनरेशन हो रहा है आप यू आर बेसिकली सिटिंग ऑन अ गोल्ड माइन ऑफ डेटा यू कैन डू वट एवर लाइक विद दैट डेटा and i think it's all about how constructive we will create a tool and techniques or technology to be able to use that kind of a data so it's all about mm. if it's in the creative side if it's in the positive side absolutely makes sense if not then we really need to think i think everybody yeah. needs to think government individuals everybody will have to safeguard it you know nisha uh, so i get can... ha huh, i i was just about to answer that question about the government front uh, so essentially so because i've been working in parliament for in the past i knew how slow our government works but also especially our bureaucracy like for example ek ek do example le lo cryptocurrency le lo right cryptocurrency when it came uh like for years it was just active without really any regulation and then finally when people started losing money is when the government was like are isko ban kar do right so because a they were scared of what this they can what what this is because a they didn't understand what it is and then wo kuch bhi hodgepodge regulations bana ke hazar changes karke now it is where it is it is like in this gray space where you can do it but tax bhi lagega but it's also illegal 
which is bizarre, right? Then there is social media, right? Social media regulation की बात कर लेते हैं. Like social media आया and everybody is like, oh, it's so nice. Everybody is getting connected. All all people are able to talk to each other now. Friends will be forever, whatever, whatever, right? But then you know what it unleashed? Like it yeah. destroyed entire democracies in the parts of the world. It created conflict. It created so much strife and conflict. And also like culture wars. Ab kya kya iske repercussions hoye? You you all know body shape is yeah, like yeah. everything. But AI yeah. is more scarier on uh, this government front because government ko social media se zada uh, matlab kam ID AI AI ke baare mein. But that's my media... thing. Yeah. Like what what is happening now is I think there are two projects that the government is doing with AI. So what AI, Rashi said about uh, call centers. Uh, so government is trying to create call centers for specific schemes using AI. So essentially, WhatsApp pe you can just ask the government bot whatever question you have, and then it will suggest a perfect scheme for you, guide you through it, and essentially how to apply for it. And your paperwork will be filled. Oh, so yeah. So essentially, government wants to use it, right? But does it want to regulate it? Is a different question, right? Because like people like Rashi and the work they are doing. What that means is, if the government comes in to regulate it, then Rashi's work will also be affected, right? So then, then that is a big sort of uh, exercise that they'll have to do. Rashi, have you seen any uh, advancements in that for, uh, front yet, or or you're you're not hearing anything yet? No, no, nothing of that sort. See, it all depends. Ki agar this gets into a disruptive sort of a or a destructive sort of a scenario, then you need regulations. Ka अगर आप इसको प्रूव कर रहे हो तो उसमें कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं स्पेशली इन माय स्पेस आई डोंट सी दैट राइट बिकॉज़ द पॉइंट इज वी आर जस्ट मैं बस आपको बोल रही हूं आप थोड़ा सा अच्छे से काम कर लो राइट आई एम जस्ट पुशिंग पीपल टू परफॉर्म बेटर एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी इंक्रीजिंग द एक्सपीरियंस फॉर द कस्टमर्स एंड इट्स अ प्लस प्लस फॉर द एंटरप्राइज सो इट्स अ प्लस सो आई आई एम सिटिंग वेयर वेयर पीपल वी लाइक व्हाट वी आर बिल्डिंग राइट सो देयर इज नो देयर इज नॉट अ नेगेटिविटी व्हिच इज कमिंग इट्स जस्ट दैट यू नो पीपल विल हैव टू अडॉप्ट इट Then there are a lot of uh, you know tools, a lot of technologies which are being. This is Facebook when it came into the forefront, right? I mean, mm. you saw how people were taking all of that, you know, pictures and all of that. You can locate people. You there was a lot of crime which went up, right? To be able yeah, to yeah, yeah. This is the yeah, better, right? So all of that. Now, if you want to, how people are going to be leveraging that is what government need to guard, right? It should not right. be in a negative connotation. Right, right. That that makes sense absolutely. सालों से यूज कर ही रहे That is also artificial intelligence only. So if you want to, like, if the government wants to make laws about AI, then it has to include that as well, right? Which is the 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 algorithm business and how data processing works and whatever, whatever. So, abhi right now at this point, there is this data protection bill, which uh, there was a news last week only that they're going to bring it in in the monsoon session, and they said that it's ready, right? The funny thing is though, they have done a lot of consultation around. Data protection bill, right? Um, now I'm I'm not going to go into details about what it is, but in short, what they're trying to do is that they're trying to define that, just as Rashi said, we cre- we are creating data right now, right? So what is the right that I have over this data that has been created? What is the right that you have, and what is the right that Rashi has? What is the right that IBM has, and how can it be processed by who, right? To use it in an algorithm or to use it in an AI, etc. So it's being rules made, right? The weird thing, though, is that in the last five months, all of this kind of became redundant, because now AI has advanced to such an extent that it is now creating its own data. So technically, uh, you know, like it's generated data, right? It's not user generated. I'm just using prompt, dal raho. but the AI is creating that data. So how will it be regulated now? So like, it's it's such a fast-paced sort of environment right now. Our laws are always going to be behind it. That is my prediction right now. We need the current way to be. Exactly. But in this, I think staggering will be a lot more. Because you are making rules on this thing, it will be another step further. 
precisely precisely because like what uh, rashi is just saying to us uh, again right you were like how her own employees are not supposed to do what they were doing last month <laughs> so in in, in that, if you think that into context it's like a little like ross kaise bol rahe hain kya karenge aap kuch constant hai hi nahi so uh, it's it's tricky but uh, guys I, i i am running out of time but before i run out of time i want to like do, do the fun part that i promised earlier right uh, are you guys ready what happened uh, when i asked ai to generate this uh, conversation okay as yes, cited but ready as one guy yes, yes 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 uh, so uh, okay so first thing that i did was i i just read out the prompt okay uh, sample one uh, there are two people in the room host and guest okay they are doing a podcast titled explain like i'm 10 and the topic is will ai take our jobs host is funny and witty person thank you very much uh guest is a data scientist who works in a startup that uses machine learning to help businesses make decisions right can you simulate the conversations between the two right and i'm like of course i can and then it gave like so it named me tv for some reason and it yeah. gave rashi the name of bob now again for some reason i don't know why uh also disclaimer i used bing to do this uh, bing is using a version of chat G- uh, gpt4 right now right i tried it in uh, chat gpt which is 3.5 the free version it was very bad so i'm not even going to mention it right so this is this is where we are okay so first it gave an intro about oh this is explain like i'm 10 where we where we break down complex topics when making them easy to understand for kids and adults alike is what it said okay and uh, i'm your host who uh, and this is my guest so introduction introduction right and then uh, essentially it went on to simulate a conversation uh, like first question was uh, okay bomb which is rashi uh, let's talk about a very important question will ai take our jobs and then uh, bomb who is rashi is like great question to me the answer is not so simple AI stands for artificial intelligence which means machines or computers that can perform tasks that normally require human intelligence such as recognizing faces understanding language playing games or making decisions then host is like why wow, that sounds cool but also scary does that mean AI can do everything that humans can do and rashi is like not exactly AI is very good at some things but not so good at others that is exactly what did mean rashi <laughs> <laughs> it can't be enough. Yeah, I like the when I like the first answer uh, that was yeah. given by by the this machine. So I yeah, uh, you know, I am already behind. I mean, he is in the car. Okay, so it says AI can beat the human players in chess or go, which are very complex games that require a lot of strategy and logic. But AI cannot write a poem or a song. Again, what Nishat was pointing out. which are very creative and emotional tasks that require a lot of emo- imagination and expression so uh, host is like i see so ai has strengths and weaknesses uh, guest is like yeah of course uh, that's why ai will not take our jobs right so basically that was it was and then the next part which is very interesting was that so can ai be a tool to help human do their jobs better that is the question that uh, host asked based on the answer and again what rashi the argument that she was making is quite similar here exactly ai can augment human capabilities and make us more productive and efficient but it can also create new challenges and opportunities for us for example ai can automate some tasks that are boring or repetitive such as data entry or customer service <laughs> it mentioned customer so i did i didn't it did okay uh, yeah it's another one highlight from round job you were yeah exactly like a common ambition Yeah, this can free up time and resources for humans to focus on more creative or meaningful work, right? And then it was like, oh, can people lose their jobs? And then it goes into like this repeated loop of examples, like how cashiers can be replaced, uh, how drivers can be replaced with automation, etc., etc., right? Yeah, but so I did a like, better job than that. I hope we did, but I I added another layer to it. This was just simulation one, okay. Now the second sample is this. Uh, add a third character to this conversation. His name is Vladimir, which is Nishant, and he has no idea about the topic of this podcast or the guest before the recording started. 
he became aware of the topic at hand only at the last moment. Vladimir is a curious individual who has very less knowledge about the intricacies of AI. He is allowed to interrupt the guest and host to ask further questions. Can you simulate this conversation? Now, what it did was, it did the same thing, uh, like more or less the same points. But instead of the host asking questions, now Vladimir is asking questions. Right. Now, Vladimir is... So, okay, but I have to introduce how Vladimir comes into the conversation, okay? So, um, introduce introduces the podcast, introduces Rashi, and then uh, now it's like... Uh, and we have another guest with us today. He is a friend of mine who just happens to be in studio when we started recording. He had no idea about the topic of this podcast or the guest before the recording started. He became aware of the topic at hand only at the last moment. Please welcome Vladimir. Now Vladimir is like, hello Timmy, hi Bob. I'm sorry for crashing your podcast. I was just looking for a place to charge my phone. <laughs> and then, <laughs> then <laughs> Timmy who is me is like, no worries Vladimir. We are happy to have you here. Maybe you can learn something new today. Bishop, you did do that. <laughs> How I do. <laughs> you did. And sure, why not? What are you guys talking about? And then host is like, well, Vladimir, today we are talking about a very important question, which is, will AI take our jobs? And he's like, AI? What is that? And then the, the rest of the conversation is, what is AI? What will it take our job, etc. But yeah, now I see that Vladimir is asking the questions, right? Suddenly the host is replaced by Vladimir. So I was not, I was not happy. So I was like, this will change karna padega. So the sample three, so I added to it. Thank you for that. Okay, I, I do this. I thank the AI uh, because I feel like I need to be kind to something this intelligent because I feel like it's, it's very human-like. So I'm like, thank you for that. But I had, it had very little participation from the host. Can you make both host and Vladimir talk to each other more while they get answers from the guest? Uh, and yeah, now it... So... This is what I saw with AI and just, just a general caveat. That when you give it situations like these, where there are multiple characters talking to each other, it's like you can see how it's thinking. Uh, like It's like a character kuch aur bolta hai, dusra character kuch aur, but in, the, in a way, you're also trying to see how the AI is putting things together, right? And so now, essentially, same conversation. Uh, AI, what is, what is AI, what is not. But now Vladimir gets a little basic. Huh? He says, so in parts where, uh, you know, AI is explained, Vladimir is like, oh, is it like Siri or Alexa? Right? And uh, and get, and Rashi is like, yes, those are, there are, those are examples of AI assistants and they can understand your voice and answer questions. But Vladimir is like, cool, but how can they do that? <laughs> so, so essentially, it's now going much deeper into the conversation, right? Uh, okay, so that was sample three. Okay, I tried one more. Now, this was actually quite scary for me to do, but I did. I was like, uh, sample four. This seems like a really basic conversation. Can you simulate the same conversation, but all the people have an IQ of 120? Uh, and yaha pe, essentially what it did was, it's the same conversation, but it's like scientists are talking about it. Uh, like like how Rashi would talk to her colleagues about it, not like dumbasses like us. It, it's basically starting to talk about... So now Vladimir has come into the room to charge his laptop, okay? He has not come in to charge his phone. What <laughs> <laughs> choice me, I want people have no phones, guys. They carry laptops around. <laughs> yeah. And, and Nishad suddenly you become very professional, okay? So he's like, hi, Timmy. Hi, Bob. I apologize for intruding on your podcast. I was just looking for a power outlet for my laptop. And host is like, no worries, Vladimir. We are glad you're here. Maybe you can learn something today as well. <laughs> like, and basically, it did simulate the same conversation, but with more complicated terms and in like very uh, interesting ways. And this, guys, uh, is actually quite mind-blowing to me because, again, I simulated this conversation before we started this. And I am very shocked right now by how many points we managed to touch just by just by default while having this conversation. So yeah, reactions guys. The, the reaction video ban raha abhi. So that's it. What do you think? <laughs> this, is, this is amazing. I think uh, you could have just had had them to do the whole conversation. I think I think 
जितना स्क्रिप्टिंग वहां से आया दैट वाज जस्ट अमेजिंग लाइक अ फ्यू ऑफ दोस क्वेश्चंस वर लाइक यू नो व्हाट वाज कमिंग आउट वाज लाइक क्रेजी लाइक मेरे को भी आई थिंक नेक्स्ट से पहले आई विल ऑल्सो गो बैक टू यू नो व्हाट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चंस आई शुड जस्ट प्रिपेयर आई शुड जस्ट लुक अप फ्रॉम देयर या या बट इट्स रियली रियली नाइस या इट्स इट्स scary for me <laughs> <laughs> and i like the flip and i like the flip when when you said ki isko thoda sa science uh, you know get the intellect to be 120 suddenly yeah. from a from a mobile to a laptop and the kind of one which is quite fun was asking i was like next level this is a very refined sort of conversation started to happen right right and and you know it's it's actually i've done this a lot okay I, i've done um, so So prompt engineering is a thing now. In case uh, people don't know, so there is this thing called prompt engineering where people are learning new and new ways to write correct prompts, which makes the AI generate responses which are better for you. So I keep doing this. Uh, I keep having debates between people from four different ideologies. I have defined like a capitalist. I have defined a a socialist. I have defined a libertarian, and I have defined a liberal. And I make them debate about everything under the sun. from uh, what is modi ji doing what is the, the the new program that they are launching and how it is good and it's crazy how much it it is able to give me like you know different perspectives say it is able to give me arguments uh, based on ideologies i made them write songs also uh, you know like uh, uh, yeah tum tum ek island pe ho and all these four people are, are drunk and make them write write a song about a ship coming to the island so all four of them and then they pushed in ideologies there also where uh, it, it was it was very meta uh, but yeah that's what we are capable of guys that that's where we are today um any any final thoughts uh, friends uh, nishant and uh, rashi nishant uh i will in I was in a good space rashi ne mujhe utna positivity pe nahi aaya tha ki nahi nahi acha kaam karenge khud better bhi honge अभी <laughs> बात सुने तो भाई मेरा एग्जिस्टेंस ही इनवैलिड है भाई तुमसे अच्छा है व्लादिमीर काम कर रहा है भाई इधर <laughs> वो वो लैपटॉप का चार्जर भी लेकर आ रहा है अब एक्चुअली आने का लैपटॉप चार्जिंग प्रॉब्लम राइट ना हो फाइनल थॉट्स No, I think this was uh, extremely fun, and uh, I think uh, I think what the whole scripting brought on the table was absolutely beautiful. I would say. Yeah, yeah. I I I I I I I love meta. I, I love I meta to, things. I try to do bring in some positivity for Nisha. Yeah, this disrupted. I think I will have to have a separate, you know, conversation with Nisha again to bring that positivity. Yeah, but in terms of the proper no. Well, It comes as a shocker in the first place, right? It displaces people, and then you know, yeah. For us, you need conversation people like me to be able to, you know, mellow it down, and then you know, again, start to adapt it. Right, right, absolutely. Megrat completely behaved like a super uh, hero villain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I I thought I thought there should be a balance, okay. Uh, let's say uh, to be honest, perfectly honest, my my personal sense say I'm really excited about artificial intelligence. Um, I'm I'm actually the the worry yeah, comes from the safety part of it. Huh? No, I'm talking about cover. Uh, what have you? फेमेंटिंग which is basically now you just tell the ai ki uh, you are hustle gpt and you have 100 dollars uh, you have to make it into 100000 dollars in uh, and and do it right so it's now giving itself tasks and making sure that it's doing it so it's created a website it is hosting a project it is basically using uh, it is using image generation software to actually make the project look real and There is this scary instance where I saw where at one point there was a captcha, uh, right? And the AI uh, saw that there is a captcha, so it used this other app called Task Rabbit to hire a human 
to solve that captcha for it uh and it basically <laughs> it, and the human was like are you a robot why are you making me do this and you know what it was uh, so it, it's it's uh, internal thought was that i need to lie here because i don't think the human needs to know that i'm i'm actually an ai and then it said that oh actually i have i have blindness i have partial blindness so can you please help me do this and then the human actually did it and it got access into the thing beyond the captcha so we are there wow we are here we are we are in this place where this is happening real time um please keep following developments in ai so uh, rashi we are going to do like a bunch of series of these now because it's such a giant topic you were the first one to do this with us so thank you so much um it was a lovely conversation Thank you so much, Nikhat, for getting me here and have for this wonderful, wonderful conversation and for my learning as well. It was fantastic. <laughs> uh, thank you, Nishant. Uh, hope to have you again, man. Yes, man. Would love to come again. Thank you, Rashi. बहुत ज़्यादा समझ आ गया मुझे. So it's more it's just that so much I I call you I'll call you very soon don't stress me therapy session ke na padega uska Okay thank you so much guys thank you for watching and please like share subscribe and do the things bye